Hey, hello again folks, this is Dennis. I am here to do the part two of the review, like many of you actually asked on how does the television work on gaming. Well, here is a quick view of Arkham Knight that I have on the PS4 Pro. Just look at the rain, it looks so realistic. There is every single part of it which is super good. What I am trying to do is, I'm, I'm trying to control the whole thing using you know, my hand uh, and also hold the phone. Let me do one thing, why don't I just make the whole room dark? It's, it's, it's going to be a lot more better for you to figure out you know, how things work. Alright, um, here's what I'm going to do. I want you to look at different parts where my hand is going to point. Look at the... The colors are not as good as what you actually see on my phone because I have only a 1080p phone. Look at the resolution, it's, it's far clearer. It's super clear. It's a 1080p game which has been upscaled to 4K by the Pro. Let me get out of the Batmobile. And let me just show you how every little detail over here is seen. Okay, uh, if you notice, you can actually see water droplets falling as if it's there. If you notice there is a reflection of the light. Um, for you to also see that there is absolutely no lag, let me go ahead and get into the car and zoom past over there for you to just see how things work. Um, give me a second, let me fix up the phone and I will continue. Okay, here is where I'm gonna go ahead and drive. So you know, uh, you will actually see there's literally no lag, uh, really fast scenes. So you notice, things move out there, there is a lot of movement, literally no jerk, there are a million colors over here that you can actually see, the phone is just not able to get it. Uh, to just show you more detail, let, let me see if I can actually shoot higher into the sky and then show you how the city view itself looks. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm right high up over here. Look at the detail over here. Uh, you can actually see individual drops of water falling over there. Look at another part of the screen over here. Look at the yellow, look at the water that moves out over here. I mean, can you believe that this is actually simple code written through a gaming engine over here? Super realistic. Let's let's take you another view over here. Um, ah, damn. Okay, this guy just fell down, but... Um, just, just show you the city over here. There's so many colors that you can actually see and every part of it is with very high detail. Um, I am planning to get Uncharted for a Thief's End uh, and you know that is going to be in native 4K but just so that you see, look at the colors over there in the building. Every little bit is with very very high detail. Absolutely no like. But here is, here is the problem that I actually see with the TV and a lot of you have actually mentioned. Of course, it's not an IPS panel, so look at the colors. My television cannot get it in properly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go sideways and notice the terrible, terrible view of, you know, what happens to the television over here. Literally no colors. Uh, things get guarded out uh, and, and, you know, only if I look up straight, maybe I've got like a 30 or 40 degree angle on both ends, which I'm going to do over here. It works perfectly fine. Well, if, if the television is mounted too high, um, it's again going to be really bad. So my advice when you mount a television is make sure that you sit on your couch, uh, sofa, and make sure that your head is exactly in the middle, or rather where your eyes should be in the exact center of the television. That's when you get perfect, you know, the perfect viewing angle. Um, again, if I go up from top, uh, there is some amount of loss of color, but not all that much on the sides. But again, from the sides, oh my god, it's bad. It's really bad over there. Uh, these are two things that, you know, uh, I would like you guys to have a quick look at. I've not hooked it up to a PC, but um, I'm guessing the result should be similar. Um, again, I also wanted to show you 4K HDR on YouTube. Give me a second, let me just load it up. What I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and close Arkham Knight and start the, the YouTube app on the PS4 because what I've noticed is when the YouTube app runs on the PS4 it's it's far more better. The red is beautiful, the white is clear. Uh, like I mentioned the phone cannot capture what I see over there. I'm gonna pause till I can actually get to a 4K video. Give me a second. Okay, here I am. I've got a bunch of 4K videos over here. What I'm gonna do is, uh, this is on YouTube so remember there is a huge amount of compression. Um, what I'm gonna do is I will try and Get the Sony and LG UHD 4K demo for OLED. Okay, all right. Let me see once that comes in. Ah, <laughs> done. First comes an ad. Sorry, let me just skip the ad. Uh, yeah, if you notice, it says 4K over here. Ah, hold on, hold on. 
Look at that. It says it's 4K. Oh. Oh man, the colors are brilliant. Okay. Very smooth. Though there is a YouTube compression. Um Yeah. <laughs> the phone is not able to, you know, capture the phone has the color saturated, but if you look at it uh with your eye, it looks superb. Let me do one thing. Let me change one of the picture settings. Um this is in the PC game mode. But let me see if I can go ahead and change it to the standard. So. Oh, it's brilliant. It's just brilliant. Uh it's it's amazing. I mean, what my phone sees is orangish brown, but it is oh, this is bad the what the phone is capturing, but the colors are so much more brilliant. If you look at the sunlit aura, let me see if I can pause it over there. Um oh, let me get this video with you know proper colors you know uh I'll probably give you uh, unfortunately my phone is not an HDR phone so uh, the camera that I'm trying to capture it with so you know it's it's not very great but what I see is fantastic um I hope this actually helps you folks um and you know uh, do let me know if you got more questions and I would be happy to answer then I'm signing off